which I'm excited to announce in general availability now, which is Snowball Edge. And so Snowball Edge is a new hybrid device with onboard storage and compute. It has a lot of the same trappings that people have come to know and love about Snowballs. It has the nearly indestructible hard exterior. It's got encryption three different ways. In fact, the encryption is done on the device instead of the client, so the performance is even better. It has an e-ink device display, so again, you can make sure the addressing's right, you can make sure you keep uh, abreast of uh, your progress. But it has a number of capabilities that hasn't existed in Snowball. So first, it's about twice the size of what we launched last year. These are 100 terabytes, the containers of the appliances. It has a clustering capability so that you can, across multiple Snowball edges, you can shard your data. And so that means that you've got the right durability such that you don't have to keep a second copy of the data on premises. It has an S3 endpoint, so you can be, async you can be synchronously loading data to S3, or you can take data from S3 in the cloud back into the Snowball Edge if you want. And then it has compute inside. It has, it's built, this is really a purpose-built green grass device that has more storage and has more compute and some AWS endpoints, but it's got Lambda and green grass inside. And to give you an idea of how much compute it has, it has the equivalent of an M4 4XL EC2 instance of compute inside. So this is super interesting for customers. And let me give you some examples of how we think, we, we believe it'll be used and, and people have intentions to use Snowball Edge. So think about Oregon State. They do a lot of research out in the ocean. It's oceanographic research. And the way they collect the data today are on these manual tapes. And then when they get back to land, they have to manually mount these tapes and store the data. Now, as you can imagine, it's very clunky. It takes a lot of time. It's highly error prone. Instead, what they'll do is they'll use Snowball Edge. They'll be collecting that data as they, as they get it on the ocean. They'll be doing some pre-processing and analytics on that data such that when they get back to land, they just attach that Snowball Edge into their data center network, load what they want, take the pre-processed data and make use of it, and then take the rest of it, disconnect it, and send the Snowball Edge back to AWS to do deeper analytics. The exact same thing is going to be done with airplanes who are collecting data constantly on flights where they want to actually know some of the things that are happening during the, the flight that might be useful to take action on sooner than later. They're going to have those Snowball Edges on board, be able to see some of those analytics, take action in real time, and then they're going to take those Snowball Edges when they fill up and send them back to AWS for, for more detailed and complicated analysis. Or take GE. So GE has these wind farms all over the world, and many of them are in remote places that have effectively no internet connectivity. And so there's all kinds of aberrations and signals in that data, and they're collecting massive amounts of data from these wind turbines that they want to actually be able to see in real time and set up analytics to understand those aberrations such that they can adjust or be more efficient in the process. They will use Snowball Edges to collect all that data, do quick analytics on things that they're seeing that can make them more productive and efficient, and then when they fill them up, they will disconnect them, send them back to AWS, and they'll do much more complicated and deep analysis on that. We're really excited about what Snowball Edge is going to provide customers, and our customers that we've shared Snowball Edges with are incredibly excited. It opens up all kinds of opportunities for them to have devices that they can have live with their assets, collect the data in a very highly scalable way, do analytics on that data, upload some of that data that they want to upload real time back and forth in the cloud, and then when they're done, disconnect it and send it back so that they can have that data for complete analytics in AWS.